design was so complicated that I just couldn't draw it. I barely even made it back in my commission days when people would have me draw their OCs in Attack on Titan uniforms. I am not built for this era of mobile game anime poise in VTubers. I've decided to convey these emotions through a graph that I call the Languish for Love scale. With one axis defining the quantity of love I have for the character and the other defining how detailed they are. If I do not love you enough to exceed the I will draw you threshold, I will begin removing details as I please. Which brings me to you! Your name is Sparkle and you're so pretty and I love your flowers and your pink but I don't understand your sleeves! Honkai Star Rail is a sponsor for this video and we'll talk more about that later. But their characters are very detailed but very pretty. Last time I worked with Genshin, who's owned by the same parent company, I had fun simplifying those character designs. I'd like to do that again. So I put pen to paper, and I got sent on an introspective journey I wasn't ready for. Now, I want to redesign Sparkle as if I designed her. Let me back up. Also, how do you hey, I'm right. So to start, I agreed to work with Honkai Star Rail. It's this really cool space fantasy RPG. Hoyoverse is like known for having really good designs in their game characters, and I'm known to love studying some really good designs. So I knew I had to draw Sparkle because she's very pretty and she's going to be released in their big 2.0 update. Big character, looks like a new villain. Every single video about her is talking about how she's gonna define the meta. Lots to celebrate. So I started with some sketches to get familiar with her. First you're playing mainly with the colors and her bangs and then a page trying out different eyes and proportions for her face. Been loving that lately. I have drawn so many faces, guys. It's become a problem. It's become a habit. Fun game to play with family and friends. I tell you how many faces I've drawn in the last month, and you guess what drugs I'm on. Then I tried to practice drawing the full design, and I was reminded of my least favorite parts of drawing Genshin Impact characters. Specifically of drawing Kokumi. They don't look alike, but they're pretty similar. They're both so detailed that I'd probably need an actual doll to turn over in my hands to understand all the different layers. They both have long twin sleeves that outline the sides of their silhouette, long twin tails that outline the sides of the silhouette, skirts with ribbons on their back where I don't totally understand their shape or how they fall against the body, and I'm never gonna find out because their hair and their sleeves are blocking the view anyway, please, I just want a good reference! And they're both still very, very pretty. I'm just not strong enough. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna have some fun with this. I did some aimless redesigns. Aimless as in like, I don't care that she's in Star Rail, I don't care about her lore, her history, who she is, I don't know, just the design on paper. I looked at her laid out and I thought, how would I do it myself? This was an embarrassingly difficult question. Usually when I redesign something, it's into some other series. Having to actively ask myself, what are my design conventions when I'm on my own? Like, baby, would our intimacy go? Our passion? This kind of shit is why I keep drawing all these heads lately. Who are you people? That aside, my drafts went well. My goal with each one wasn't to improve the original design by any means, just to see what it would look like if it were created to my personal tastes, something I'd have fun drawing. My style isn't devoid of detail, but it favors simplicity. I like strong shape language, exaggerated silhouettes, bright colors, and it's not required, but I do love when a character has at least one long flowy thing about them so I can slap that shit around like. The most important thing I wanted to test was how I could either combine or further differentiate the spaces that the sleeves and the ponytail share. And the second most important was how I choose to simplify the outfit. Tertiary to that, just trying new things just for fun. So just for fun, for all three drafts, I took a theme from her original outfit away. It seems to me like she's got three, a goldfish, a fox, and cherry blossoms. So in the first draft, she's just fox and cherry blossom. Second's just cherry blossom and goldfish, you get it. I wasn't sure how much she should or shouldn't be trying to make her look different from the original design. I'm not sure it matters, but I enjoy trying to make up for taking away so much detail by replacing them with something a little more condensed and exaggerated. Like I take away all of her gloves and bracelets and necklaces and jingle bells, but we multiply the rings and strings she's got around her chest and legs to make up for it. It's technically less detail, but they've become an even more defined aspect of her design as something that'll make her stand out still. Uh, hypothetically. I was pretty happy with how these first two turned out, but the third one, the fox and the goldfish, eh, I wasn't really feeling it. I colored it early so that I could look at it longer and maybe that would help me think of how to finish it, but eh, I'm just not interested. So I'm letting her go instead of pulling my hair out over it. I have to assess what I've come up with to figure out how I want to go about the final. But like I mentioned before, this video is sponsored by the actual game Sparkle's from, and they'd like to say hi real fast. 
Honkai Star Rail is a story-heavy, multi-platform space fantasy RPG from Hoyoverse, the creators of Genshin Impact. You play as this trash-loving active bomb called the Trailblazer, and I repeat, you could explode at any moment because you have this thing called a Stellaron inside you that means that you have to stay on the space train and go on adventures with all of your cool, powerful new friends who can defuse you if they need to. You get to run around and meet different philosophical cults and different planets while you collect a bunch of super beautiful characters to use to fight. You can build up your own little teams and different strategies, and it's turn-based. I love turn-based games. I can't think that fast. It's easy to pick up, but it's highly tactical. The game just released its massive 2.0 update with its festive and vibrant new world, Penicani, the planet of festivities. You can explore all the new things Penicani has to offer, like new maps, new characters, new stories, sparkle. She's going to be Star Rail's first Quantum Harmony character, and she gives everyone massive crit boosts, which means she's busted. If you use my link in the description to download Honkai Star Rail now, you can get 50 Stellar Jades and 20 special passes to use to pull for your favorite characters right away. Thank you so much, Honkai. Now back to those drafts. I took my time to compare all of them against the original Sparkle and against each other, really get my thoughts in order for what I wanted to do for the final design, which was weird to do considering the only criteria was vibes. And I think the vibes was needs more Sparkle. For the sake of comparison, I used this picture of Sparkle as like our patient zero. And then I drew my own similar pose that I would use to draw Sparkle both however I would draw her in my style normally, and then however I would draw her as if I designed her. Sparkle's really pretty, but I don't know her that well, so considering her design bracket, that automatically puts her well under the threshold of the language for love scale. I am removing whatever little stuff I just can't be bothered to draw. Peace and love. As expected, drawing her original design was a little challenging. There were some places like her sleeves where I just couldn't turn them around in my head. But I think my style is really conducive to bullshitting things, so I just did each sleeve as vague outlines and twisted them into whatever way was the easiest, and it looks great. I love bullshitting. Little cheats like this help me to flatter the design in spite of my shortcomings. That's one of my favorite things that I learned from the Gurren Lagann art book. Fuck it. Use cheats. They look good. Life short. With the final redesign, I liked a lot of what I did with draft two, but she didn't look as mischievous as the original Sparkle does, and I want more of that zest. I also no longer cared about following the goldfish and cherry blossom theme or whatever, just bring in a little more of the original Sparkle and make her look good. I decided her sleeves and ponytails were big enough points of interest that she didn't need much happening with her skirt. Removing most of the skirt decorations would give her a sleeker outline, which would serve to make her ponytails and sleeves even more interesting and I brought back the fox mask to return the air of mystery, but I had the darker half of the mask wrapped up in some of the same rings and strings that are on her body. I'm actually really proud of how the mask turned out. I thought it brought everything together really nicely, but it also looks like one half of her mask is being restrained, like she's dangerous. So here's Sparkle. Here's how I would draw her, and here's how I would design her. Doing this design made me think a lot about the effects of my art hobby becoming my art career. You really don't make it through that transition unscathed. It's kind of fun realizing that my art feels like a stranger though. That means I get to meet her again. I'm sure if I just draw a few more faces, I'll know who I'm looking at. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much to Honkai for sponsoring this video and thank you to my patrons. $2 a month gets you access to everything I post like works in progress for videos or concepts for other projects. $5 a month gets you access to our twice monthly live streams. Sometimes we do work, sometimes I critique patron submitted art, sometimes we play games, all sorts of stuff over there. And $10 patrons get their names at the end of the videos. Usually I would read them all aloud, but this video is a shorter one and reading the names out loud is getting a little scarily long. So I wrote them all out by hand this time instead. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I hope to see you again next time. Bye.